to the show. This week, far-right Spanish party Vox bragged that they were teaming up with none other than former Trump advisor Steve Bannon. <gasps> Apparently, Vox, not to be confused with Ezra Klein's live journal, is giddily expecting a visit from America's recently excised tumor. Which wouldn't be too alarming, except that's not the only European country he's studied abroad in lately. In fact, Bannon has been on a veritable tour de creeps. As the New York Times gently described it, Steve Bannon is done wrecking the American establishment. Now he wants to destroy Europe's. Steve Bannon, Trump's former White House chief strategist, he made a controversial comment in Europe while speaking uh, to the Fren French Nationalist Party. Let them, Let them call, call you racist. racist. Let, Let them, them call, call you xenophobes. Let, Let them, them call you nativist. nativist. Wear it as a badge of honor. <laughs> Let them call you xenophobes. Let them bang on the door shouting, for the last time, Mr. Bannon, you cannot drink in a Barnes & Noble bathroom. <laughs> and if you're wondering how Steve Bannon made it from the US to Europe, it started raining and the ants that comprise his body piled on top of each other to make a raft. Oh, he looks so young there. Once Bannon got to Europe, where I assume he stayed in the hostel from the movie Hostel, he spent his time visiting Italy, where far-right groups just won a major election, headlining the annual conference of France's far-right National Front, meeting with Germany's far-right alternative for Germany party, and even took some time to come out from under his bridge to fight three goats. <laughs> Am I the only one getting a weird sense of deja vu? I, I can't remember, but I feel like someone else once united the far-right parties of Italy and Germany and then invaded France with their ideas. Wait, no, I'm thinking of Eurovision. That's it. <laughs> and look, I know it's easy to make fun of Steve Bannon's nationalist, white supremacist views, as well as you know, literally everything else about him, especially because it's hard to believe someone can think their DNA is superior when they're basically a less handsome version of Krang from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> but just like Krang, that squishy face can hide some dangerous ideas. You know, like Bannon's belief that Europe must have nationalist governments to fight an evil axis of Turkey, Iran, and Chinese civilizations. And if you haven't heard of an alliance between Turkey, Iran, and China, that's because there isn't one. It only exists in Steve Bannon's head, like a ketchup bottle that's also a flashlight. <laughs> and you might be thinking, good, at least Bannon isn't in America absorbing people for sustenance. But he's not a uniquely American menace. Perhaps you remember Bannon's influence on Brexit. He was running Breitbart. It was instrumental in Brexit. In Breitbart London, he, he, he was a platform for Nigel Farage, for UKIP, for all those guys where they didn't have a lot of platforms. And Farage told me, I talked to him after the election, he said, I don't think that Brexit would have happened without Steve Bannon. That's right. Bannon was instrumental in dissolving England's place in the EU, just like his hot tub full of acid was instrumental in dissolving Reince Priebus. <laughs> Obviously, that graphic is a joke. Nobody is looking for Reince Priebus. <laughs> Bannon's presence around the world should scare you. Not just because Steve Bannon looks shockingly close to Jeff Goldblum as he transforms into the fly, but also because he's really good at transforming countries to conform to his far-right hyper-nationalist vision. Remember, we thought he was a joke here too, until he wasn't. True, white supremacy isn't new in Europe. In fact, half of all video games are about fighting it. But if Bannon didn't start the new Reichstag fire, he's definitely pouring the oil from his forehead onto it. Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban has won a third term after running on a deeply anti-immigrant platform. Orban repeatedly criticized the European Union's more open border policies during his campaign. But Viktor Orban is, is like Donald Trump. They never want to talk about all the good he does. I think he's a great patriot and a great hero. That wasn't even a political event. He just ran on stage at a Wiggles concert and grabbed the mic. <laughs> Look, do I like thinking so much about Steve Bannon? Of course I don't. On my fantasy men list, he ranks between not on the list and Steve Bannon isn't on the list. 
Nobody wants to think about Steve Bannon, but we know the cost of underestimating him. It's Donald Trump as president and the tragic loss of Reince Priebus. <laughs> you know, it used to be that racists were at least ashamed to be racists. He's telling them to be proud of it. Let them call you racist. Wear it as a badge of honor. So Steve, as long as you're on your racist Tony Robbins tour of Europe, we will be keeping an eye on you. As unpleasant as that is. We'll be right back.